Okay, so I started with a regular hand towel, cut it up, and now I'm putting it on the cup to form a vase just to see what it would look like. Made myself some cement, and now I'm going to take that towel and I'm going to dip it into the bowl and cover it with cement as much as I can. You're not going to get everything covered, but if you can, get whatever you can cover because we are going to work with it later with our hands um, uh, to smooth it out and so forth. But the the whole purpose here is just to get as much as cement as you can onto that towel. So then go ahead and lay it on your cup. And now we're going to be forming it onto that cup of what I want this vase to look like. So once I have that, I kind of smooth out the extra cement that we have on there. Now I'm just taking a paintbrush and just dipping it into the cement and smoothing out the concrete that is actually on the towel. So the concrete is watered down a little bit, just that that way I have it's it's wet so that it can easily form for me. And you just keep on doing that to smooth, you know, smooth out the cement, you know, on this cup. Okay, so the cement is all over our towel. Now it's time to let it dry. Dry time will vary depending on the temperature, you know, where you're working in. So just keep an eye out until it's dry. And now it's completely dry, dry as a rock, and we are ready now to start painting it. So now what I'm doing is I am, uh, I took a stencil brush and I'm dipping it into some ivory paint and I'm just dabbing the paint all over. So you want to do this throughout your whole piece and make sure that, again, it, you don't have to like cover it completely, but cover it as much as you can because we kind of want the little bit of the gray of the cement to show uh, because we're going to be doing another step after this but go all the way around your whole piece and uh, just keep on dabbing it around um, until you're done don't forget the bottom as well and inside so now I took a blush brush, yes, a makeup brush, and I am dipping inside. It's called Dirt, and that is by Blackberry House Paint. Um, and I'm just going to go all the way around and basically just make sure that everything is covered with dirt. You can get this product too, and I'll put this on the description of the video so that you have it. Now that I have my dirt on there, I'm going to take a regular uh, brush paintbrush and I'm just gonna dip it into the paint just a little bit and then it's basically like dry brushing it so I'm just gonna go over the whole piece as I'm dry brushing it over the dirt that we actually just put on so make sure that you go over the whole piece you know with the uh, with the paintbrush now I'm using the dirt again all I'm doing right now is just kind of dabbing it uh, with the uh, blush brush and I'm just going to go over the whole piece to make sure that I have everything covered. This is where you kind of like look at it if you want a little more, if you want a little less. So whatever style or, or you know what you're trying to create um, is this step right here. So you can't really mess up on this at all. So now I took a Kleenex and I am just dabbing the paint onto obviously our our vase so all you need is a bit just a little bit of paint and this gives it a different type of texture it kind of mixes really well um you know with your dirt that you applied so now this is the step where you can do whatever you want if you want a little more on one side a little less on the other side it's all going to depend on your style because now it, it's kind of looking like stone. Uh, creating this look and the mixture of what we have done creates this really unique look. So you just go around the whole piece. Um, you don't have to do make it even because you want each side and the inside of it as well uh, to look different. And like I said, you just keep on going, you know, till till you're satisfied. And there we have it. It is completed. Doesn't that look really, really neat? I'm going to show a picture, a little video photo of this, what it actually looks like um, by itself. But I, I'm in love with this piece. 
and I hope that you are too because this is this is neat and it's very unique, okay? Well, how about that? Can you believe that like, that came from just an ordinary, regular towel? So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video as much as I did making it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also click on that notification bell. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified. Till next time, bye-bye.